Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, I'm going to be playing with my new Lois Cosmetics Meet Me at Midnight palette. I'm so excited about this. I bought it the day of launch and I'm so thrilled to have it. I'm so excited to be finally trying this brand out. I'm gonna be doing close-ups of the palette swatches. I'm also gonna be doing swatch comparisons with the Arcana palette from Shroud Cosmetics because I had some people request that. And I'll be creating a look that you see right here. Now, this video was gonna be a two looks video, but unfortunately I lost the footage for look number one and unfortunately there's just a lot of things on my plate that I need to film and I'm just not going to be able to budget the time to film an additional look however the picture for the look came out really good so I'll be able to put that on the screen and talk you through how I created it if you need more inspiration I'm sorry that this isn't a two looks video but you know it is what it is sometimes things happen Hopefully you'll understand. <laughs> and of course, I will be doing an Instagram video slash TikTok very soon for another look. So you'll be able to get some inspo that way as well. Before we get into all of that, though, let me just give you my accessory details. These earrings are from Spooky Doodle Club on Etsy. This choker I've had for a million years. I don't know where it's from. And this is the Lola Ponytail from insert name here. You can use my non-affiliated code, Batty Bean, for 10% off. So yeah, without further ado, let's hop in, dive in, do some swatches, swatch comparisons. I'll talk you through look number one that wasn't able to be filmed. Well, it was filmed, but it didn't get saved. Uh, and then we'll get into this look that you see right here. Oh my gosh, this palette is just beautiful. I love the theming. I love the packaging so much and the insides are gorgeous. We have 16 beautiful shades, a mixture of mattes and shimmers, delicious grungy jewel tones with pops of brightness as well. I'm really excited about this one. The Meet Me in the Underworld palette was really pretty and a lot of people wanted me to get it, but it just didn't pull at my heartstrings the same way this one did. So I'm really glad that this one exists. I'm glad that I picked it up. I'm glad that I'm trying the brand out. Again, I just love the shade names. I love the whole vibe in general. I think it is so pretty and I've been having fun with it so far. Now let's get into comparing it to my Shroud Cosmetics Arcana palette. This is very well loved. It's been one of my favorites for years. I personally didn't see the immediate resemblance when I first saw this palette reveal, but I did have some requests specifically to compare it if I picked it up. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to overlay the palettes close up on screen together and then I'm also just going to overlay the swatches together. Lois Cosmetics is on top, Shroud is on bottom. I tried to just do it in a way that the similar-ish shades were next to each other and there really aren't any exact dupes. There's a couple similar vibes but for the most part I feel like the depth and the tones are very different. Not really the same to me. Do they complement each other nicely? Absolutely, but I personally don't think they really dupe each other out. Obviously, it's totally up to your discretion on if you think you need just one of them or both of them, but I'm just here to show you what I know. And now, the look that got away. <laughs> I'll pop a picture on the screen here of the full look. I loved how it came out. I thought it was so pretty. I was so excited about it. I just thought it was enchanting. I liked the richness of the colors and uh, I'm sad that the footage didn't work out, but you know what? It is what it is. I'm glad the pictures turned out okay. So now I'm gonna pop the close-up of just my eye on the screen. And basically what I did was I used Nocturnal here, the green, and I just really swirled that in the outer corner, winging it out, and I just used itself to blend itself out. I just kept kind of cleaning my brush off. Oh, I've dipped my finger in the black. Then I use Midnight just to deepen up the outer corner to add a little bit of depth. The sparkles that are in Midnight do not stay put. They do dust away, so it more so acts as a matte black. I had a pretty good time blending everything out. I had a little smidge of patchiness issues at the beginning when I was blending the black and the green together, but I just worked at it a little bit and it ended up blending perfectly fine. And then all over the lid, I just took Witching Hour on top of my NYX Glitter Primer like normal, did a half cut crease, let it fade into the outer corner. And then I did also pop Nightfall down here just in the front little corner of my lower lash line. And then I highlighted my inner corner with Half Moon. So yeah, that's the look. It was pretty easy peasy, but I loved how it came out and I figured I would still just break it down for you on how I created it since unfortunately the footage did not make it. But anyways, that is it. I've said it all. Let's just hop in and I'll show you how I created this look and then I'll give you my thoughts on the palette so far afterwards. Okay, hello. Gonna play with this palette, even though I've already played with it <laughs> already, but then my camera ended up not saving my footage, which was probably more my fault than the camera's. <laughs> We're gonna do another look today with the beautiful Meet Me at Midnight palette, and I'm very pumped. I wanna play with the blue, pink, purple kind of vibe, because I did play with a lot of the green in my first look. I think I'm gonna go from phase into mysterious into disturbed. 
think that's gonna be the route I wanna take. Gonna prime with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer. I'm just gonna slather it on and blend it out, and we're gonna get into it. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I'm super excited to be playing with this palette again. It's beautiful. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I think I want to do a halo eye as well. I'm going to start with my Blend Bunny B5 brush, and I'm going to take Phase, that beautiful lavender. And I'm just going to swirl that all the way from inner to outer corner, just really building this up in my crease. This is going to be my lightest shade. Lately, when I've been building up my eyeshadows in my crease, I've been starting darker and then working my way lighter. But... I don't know, I felt like doing it the, the old school way again. This is how I used to always do it, lighter to darker. I'm just gonna swirl this on my lower lash as well. I think I'm gonna do it all the way across for just a smoky lower lash to complement my halo. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, that color is so pretty. Even just this alone smeared all over the lid would be so cute, especially for spring. Going in with my Blend Bunny B4 now, I'm gonna take Mysterious, that really cute kind of berry pink that I showed you earlier. And this is, I'm going to just start kind of popping it in the inner and outer corner, as well as my lower lash line. So cute. I just love the entire vibe of this palette. It's so pretty. And I'm just going to smear that across the lower lash line. Looking crazy for now. <laughs> I'm just gonna take Phase and I'm just gonna use a little of that to help blend and smudge it out. I'm using very light pressure just to help merge everything together. So they're blending really, really easily, actually. Something kind of sort of like that. Hey, buddy. Felix just came in. He's a big chonk and he doesn't like to be held, or I would show him to you. You can see him on the vlogs. He's my good orange boy. Okay, moving on as I drop everything. So Disturbed Now, just following down the levels of depth, I'm gonna take my B3 brush and again, just kind of doing what I did last time, but keeping it even tighter, just focusing it in the very inner and outer corner of the eye. Just to add a little bit of depth, I am gonna be using a blue shimmer. So I'm mostly just putting this down so that the blue shimmer has something to kind of fade into that complements it nicely. It just started raining, so if you hear the rain, that's what it is. Mother nature waits for nobody. I swear as soon as it hit, uh march here in florida it's rained every day just kind of going down the line with my brushes and slightly more product just to blend all of that out nice and seamlessly don't know what is happening here i just got this random patch that literally will not blend out that's okay i will keep just being patient worst case scenario we throw a little glitter on the outer corner what is happening here? All right, I've seemed to have gotten that worked out better. <laughs> I'm gonna take my NYX Glitter Primer now because I use it with every shimmer ever. I'm gonna take this little dense brush from Spectrum. It's an A13. I'm just gonna kind of slap this all across the lid. Not necessarily doing anything cut creasy today. I'm gonna make the inner and outer corner tonight and I'm gonna do the middle with Half Moon. So I'm just grabbing the shade tonight on that same sticky brush. And that is going in the inner and outer corner of my lid. This is the shade that I want to just blend into my mattes nicely. Start creating some dimension, really build upon that blue. That's very rich and very pretty. Oh my gosh, I love. I'm just gonna take my little brush that I used before, my B3 that I used with the matte blue. No additional product. I'm just very lightly smudging at the edge of the shimmer so that it can fade into my mattes nicely. Now grabbing my E04 from Game Beauty, I'm gonna take the shade Half Moon, and I'm just going to slather that in the center of my lid. Oh, it's so pretty. Just kind of slathering this all over the center. Look how pretty that is. That melts so nicely in with the blue. I might still add glitter to this look, honestly, because even though I've kind of fixed my funkiness that was happening out here, I just still kind of want to add glitter. <laughs> now it's in my brain to add it. So I'm just kind of tippy-tapping between my two shimmer brushes. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm also gonna use this as my inner corner highlight. I'll just hit that up real quick while I'm here. I love that as an inner corner highlight. I used it in look number one too. So yeah, this is the look. I'm just going to finish slathering half moon all over my other eye. I'm going to throw my lashes and eye pencil and something on my lips and I guess maybe I'll play with glitter. I'll let you know. Maybe I won't decide to do it, we'll see. Um, I'll be back when I'm complete.
All right, this is my completed look. I love how it came out. As you can see, I didn't go with glitter, but I went with stamps. I felt like the Meet Me at Midnight palette having stars and moons. I just felt like it would be really cute and I, I really like it. The eye pencil I threw in is Frosted Lilac from NYX. I thought it would complement that like center of my lid really nicely. Oh, the rain has stopped and the sun is now shining in. <laughs> my lashes are Redfield from Salem Cosmetics and my lip combo today is Dopey Pencil from ColourPop with the Flower Blossom Gloss from Essence Over Top. I hope you liked my look. I'm sorry that this wasn't a full two looks video, but at least I showed you the first look and talked you through it in case you need inspiration. <laughs> Let's zoom out and I'll give you my thoughts so far on the palette. All right, that's it. That is my video with the new Lois Cosmetics Meet Me at Midnight palette. I've been having a lot of fun with this. Despite having a couple patchiness issues in my crease with both the first look that I talked about and the one you saw today, I was still able to make it work and blend it out. I just had to use a smidge more patience, but it all ended up being fine. I also did a really quick look before work the other day that I forgot to mention, but I guess I can just talk about it. I just swirled ambiguous all through the crease just to get a wash of color. And then I popped guided all over the lid and it was quite cute, fresh, springy, peachy. I've been having a good time with this. I've used a fair amount of the shades so far. I haven't used everything yet, but I've used the majority. And again, I do still plan on doing another Instagram video slash TikTok, so I'll get some more use out of it. I think the shimmers are really pretty. They're very rich. They're not super sparkly, but they're just very rich and metallic and jewel toned. And I really, really like that. I think this is a fun palette. I think it's really pretty. I'm curious to see what else the brand comes out with in the future. They're definitely on my radar. Um, I think that's all I have to say so far. I would love to hear your thoughts. Did you pick this one up? Do you want to pick it up? Did you pick up the Meet Me in the Underworld palette? I would love to chat down below. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me some stars and moons emojis. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I'm posting most days over here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.